Okay, now we are going to talk about the abscisic acid biosynthesis pathway. How exactly abscisic acid is produced by the plants? To understand that, abscisic acid pathway starts in chloroplast and finishes off in the cytosol of the plant cell. Most of this pathway take place inside the chloroplast and the lumen of the chloroplast and the rest last two steps are done in the cytosol. Now for the generation of abscisic acid, there are two intermediates used. The intermediates which are very common in glycolysis pathway of plant cell and that is one glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and the other one is pyruvate. Both of them are combined together to produce what is known as isopentyl diphosphate IPP. Now this isopentyl diphosphate acts as the primary unique ingredient to produce abscisic acid in plant cell. This isopentyl diphosphate or IPP is converted into zeaxanthin first and then zeaxanthin is converted into antherazanthin then antherazanthin is converted to all different stereoisomerical trans form of violazanthin. Now this conversion of zeaxanthin to antherazanthin and antherazanthin to trans violazanthin are done by zeaxanthin epoxidase enzyme also known as ZEP or ZEP. Now this different variants of trans violazanthin can be converted into either neoxanthin form or can be converted into the 9-cis violazanthin form. Now if 9-6 violazanthin is produced, it's fine. If neoxanthin is produced, then it will be further converted to 9-cis neoxanthin form. So ultimately, in the plant chloroplast, they have 9-cis violazanthin or 9-cis neoxanthin. Both will be converted to one form that is known as xanthoxin form by the enzyme 9-cis epoxy carotenoids dehydrogenase or NCED. And thus they will produce xanthoxin. Now this is the form that the plant can take into the cytosol for the further steps. So the xanthoxin will come into the cytoplasm. Now the xanthoxin will be converted to abscisic aldehyde by the enzyme short chain dehydrogenase or SDR. Then this abscisic aldehyde will be converted into final form of abscisic acid by the enzyme abscisic aldehyde oxidase or AAO. So this is how ultimately we get the abscisic acid from the basic precursor like pyruvate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate in plant cells.